Um, I'm, my name's Peter and I've worked in social work for the last 50 years. I, I started off as an unqualified social worker and um, had all sorts of strange roles that um, don't happen now, like moving homeless families and uh, delivering bath aids and all, all sorts of things. It was just really assisting other qualified social workers at that time. But after a while, I started to get a, a sort of small caseload of my own of mainly, I think, of older people and uh, people with a, with a disability. After about um, seven or eight years, I did a course for uh, working with people with visual impairments. And it was teaching people Braille, Moon, typing and daily living skills. At, at that time, I, I worked mainly with people with a, with a visual impairment, but also other people as, as well. After about 10 years, I did the social work training. I went to Portsmouth Polytechnic, was sponsored by West Sussex, so it was good. I was actually paid a full wage to, to do the, the training. And um, when I came back, I had to work with, well, with everyone really. It was uh, sort of children, families, older people, physical to disabled people, mental health, learning disability, all, all the, the things that we, we do now. The next move was was to the community team for people with learning disabilities, which was I think about 20 years ago, and um, it, it's a multidisciplinary team with um, health professionals and etc. And the most recent change is is to lifelong services. Although there's still the learning disability bit, we also now work with people with a a lifelong physical disability. That's where I'm now, really. But, um, it was it was very sort of informal to start with when I, I first started. I shared an office with home care managers. It was quite a good experience actually sharing with them. They were very welcoming and, and very nice. It was um so it was quite informal and, and it was a, a strange setup because there were two offices when I started. It was at the time when the CBOM report had come out. It was an amalgamation of children services and welfare and mental health all into into one the recording was all by hand there was no typing in those days i don't think it was all all sort of handwritten to get something done you just had to go and ask someone you didn't have to fill a form in so <laughs> it was it was very 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 informal whereas today you know there's a there's a, actually a process for for absolutely everything not, I guess it is legislation because there's been more and more legislation over the, over the time and, and we have to justify what we do, don't we? And to show that we, we're doing the, the job we're supposed to be doing. And and it's things like, I mean, the mosaic now, it, the, there's, a, there's a process for absolutely everything. I think that's the, the big change. So I, I always think things go around in circles a little bit and, and there's sort of trends, I think, that that um, have happened. Like, for example, at one time, it was very sort of community orientated. We had patch offices in Midhurst and Storrington and little little offices where there was only a few people. So it was, it was very much close to the local community. I wonder whether something like that will will come back in the, in the future. I, I, I think it, it's like to stay separate um, children and adults. Um, there may be changes within the particular services, but very difficult to predict, I think, um, exactly what will happen in the future. I, I, I went into it because I wanted to make a difference. I think I was probably a, a bit idealistic then, and, and I'm probably more realistic now after many, many years. Um, but I hope that you can make small changes in, in people's lives, in um, and enhance their sort of quality of life. So that that's what I see um, my role at, as as being. There's a, there's a few, um, and, and just speaking generally, it's lovely to, to see people achieve what they they want to achieve. I've got three people now who I've known for many years. I mean, I I started off working in Bognor, and I'm back in and working in Bognor now, and they've. Um, sort of come full circle with me almost. <laughs> so I've known them for about, um, I don't know, 35 to 40 years, probably three of them. And I have been their social worker all the time. On and off, I've been their social worker. They've really come a long way, you know, in, in, in that time, in their different ways. They're, they're all very different, but they've come a long way. And that's so nice to see that they've been able to, with lots of setbacks, I think, but also achieve what they want to in their lives, you know.
and uh, to, to be part of that and to, to, to sort of share it with them. Um, and they're just really nice people as well. So it's, it, it's really nice. <laughs> It's um, the people I work with, the, the customers I work with, and are really lovely, and, and I enjoy um, sort of working with them. And colleagues have been great, in, including managers. I mean, have been been really, really good. I, I think the, the quality of, of managers is so much greater now. They're very supportive and very, very helpful from the my immediate manager up to the the sort of higher managers I've had contact with. So um, that's been been really good. And the the team I'm in is is very, very supportive. I mean, they're they're, they're lovely people and uh, they're very supportive of of each other. And that includes um health people you know most teams in social work don't have health people alongside them but the health people are, are, are a great asset to the, the team as a whole as well so it, it can be emotionally draining but it can also be very rewarding and I suppose that's why I've stuck it for, for 50 years I've one or two times I thought is this really the right thing for me but I've always decided it is and and always always carried on so